everybody. I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV and Ben10Toys.net. Stand by for some breaking Ben 10 toy news. Well, you know, Playmates Toys is making the toys for the Ben 10 Reboot Show. It's supposed to be coming out this fall. And we've been we placed them under surveillance. And we're getting, we, we had information coming out bit by bit. Now, the New York Toy Fair is underway. And yesterday, I did a report on some updates about the Omnitrix. If you haven't seen that video, click the link up here, you know, over there. Watch that one. Today, we're going to talk about action figures. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is something else we're working on for 2018. It gives us another chance to really explore the alien worlds a little bit more. So these are inspired by the kinds of vehicles that these aliens would actually have on their home planets. So each vehicle will come with an exclusive figure, Heat Blast and his Jet Blaster, uh, Diamond Hay and his Diamond Tank, and then Overflow and his Submersible Sub. Okay, so figures for vehicles. It's good. It looks like a nice triad. You've got, you know, you got your land. You got Diamond Head with the Diamond Tank. You got your air heat blast with the jet blaster, and you got your water uh, overflow with the submarine. And, and you, you look at these. You, know, you look at overflow. Now it looks like all of them got have got some kind of apparatus, like an additional apparatus of some kind. Overflow. He has some kind of breathing apparatus going on there with a helmet. But of course, I, I, I thought overflow was all about he could go on the water anyway, but he's got something extra. And then I look at that submarine and I'm wondering, well, is it nuclear powered? And he's got some antennas and stuff sticking out. Has it got weapons? What kind of weapons? Does it shoot stuff? Has it got special sensors? The submarines are good for collecting information, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then Diamond Head, but his tank, he's got a cool helmet. I like that. That's good to have in a tank because you can knock your head on the side and stuff. And, and the tank's got a gun. What kind of gun is it? And then it's got some kind of additional sensor or weapon on the top with the diamond looking thing. Did you see that? You know, what is that? What's that all about? Good looking vehicle though. I like, I like tanks. And then you got a uh, heat blaster, a jet blaster. Uh, you know, right, does it shoot rockets? Has it got missiles? Has it got bombs to drop? And, you know, it's nice heat black. Uh, he's also got what we call a G suit in, in the uh, Air Force and, and Navy aviation. They have G suits to help when they're turning tight in. You know, so they don't pass out. Because when you turn hard in a jet, you get extra G's. And when you go over nine G's, you pass out, generally. So you wear these G suits. It kind of presses against, keeps your blood flowing. That's another video, I guess. All right. But I like those. I like the three, the triad, we will call it. A triad of weapons, of vehicles, you know, to, to counter threats, land, sea, and air. And it helps with the role play. A lot, a lot of fun you can have with those. I know they aren't exactly in the show and stuff, but it's still fun, right? It's fun. Okay, how about action figures? Regular action figures? Let's look at the big figures first. Come on, let's have a look. 10-inch figures, so giant figures, fully articulated. We're going to start with three of the most popular Ben 10 characters out there, Forearms, Diamond Head, and Heat Blast. Just a great big figure for kids to carry around and play with and become those aliens. Okay, so 10-inch figures, you know, Diamond Head, Forearms, Heat Blast, he doesn't say it in the video, but I think it's pretty obvious. These are toys. These are figures for, for kids when you want to just beat on something with them. You know, when you, you want to take an action figure, you know, th this isn't that big. But, you know, when you want to beat them around like your little brother or you want to beat your little brother on the head, don't do that. But, you know, like when you need one to beat around and you need a big one, sometimes you need a big one to carry around. A lot more fun that way. Okay, let's see. They've, all, they've also got these other figures called power-up figures. Let's have a look at those. We also have our deluxe uh, alien figures. We call them our power-up figures because it really puts the, the power in the kids' hands to power up these aliens. So, with the touch of a button on the back, the more times the, the kid presses the button on the back, it'll start powering him up, starting with the armatrix and head. Eventually, you're going to see the power move into his arms as the arms start lighting up, and you're all leading up to that last powerful blast. So it gives it that final blast. If the kid just wants to go to that final power blast, they can also hold down the button in the back and go right to the final blast as well. So again, we'll be focusing on heat blast, diamond head, and forearms for our first launch. Okay, power up figures. Yeah, they kind of remind me of, for instance, uh, when Bandai made the sock squats and you could do something and he would light up inside. Kind of like that, but these are a little more elaborate. 
I would wonder how long are the batteries going to last? And can you replace the batteries in these? And do they have different phrases? I, I would hope so. And what's in the next wave? They always just give us one wave. They don't tell us what's coming up next. Well, all right. Now, let's see the basic. The basic action figures, that's your bread and butter line. Let's have a look at those. So these are our basic figures. Uh, in Fall 17, we'll be launching two waves. Uh, wave one will include Ben, along with some of his aliens and a couple bad guys. And wave two will continue that with the rest of the aliens and another bad guy. So basically by the end of Fall 17, you, the kid will be able to collect Ben and all 10 aliens, along with three different uh, villains as well. And then at the end of Season 1, we'll be introducing Vilgax, who's the main baddie for Ben 10, and one of his henchmen, Crab, as well. Okay, so he's saying, the man is saying, two waves of regular action figures up until basically Christmas of this year. Probably you got to see the first wave in August or September, and then you see a second wave in uh, about November, dragging into December, just depending on how fast your stores can bring in new stock. Uh, he say by the time you get through December, you're going to have 10 aliens and three bad guys. But he's not mentioning that there may be some variants uh, in these figures. Because I saw, I'm pretty sure I see two versions of Wildvine. I'll show you that in some pictures later. I see two kinds of Wildvine. He's saying uh, the first wave, you're going to have Steam Smythe and Hex. And then in, in the second wave, Dr. Animo and I... Pretty sure he's saying uh, it's going to be Vilgax by Christmas. So that's pretty cool. I don't even think he's in the show yet. Uh, and, well, let's just look. Let's look at some close-up photos. All right, so it looks like all of these basic aliens come with some kind of accessory. For instance, there's Overflow. He's not an original alien. And it looks like he's got these water spouts coming out uh, from his uniform there. Then you see uh, Accelerate. Now he's got a base of some kind. I assume that's because he kind of leans forward and maybe it keeps him from falling over. I don't know how to deal with the traffic cones. I don't get that. Because if he's so fast, he doesn't need to worry about traffic going around him. If he broke down, yeah, if he was broke down like if your dad's car breaks down on the road, you got to put a traffic cone out, you know, keep people from hitting you. I, I don't, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea. Crab, the bad guy. Diamond Head, so Diamond Head comes like, looks like some extra diamond shards or something, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steam Smythe, and he's got that robotic arm thing coming out his back. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, upgrade, and tell me now, what's with Upgrade there? Is that his version that's called Ship? I never really fully understood that, uh, but I did have that toy for Upgrade with the ship. Let me know in the comments what you think. What is that? Is that what that is with Upgrade? Um, another picture of Steam Smythe and Upgrade and Diamond Head. And then there's Dr. Animo. Dr. Animo. I know sometimes I call him Dr. Amino because uh, I just do that like to see if you're paying attention. That's why. Does your teacher ever do that? Yeah, all right. Well, anyway, he comes in. Now, what is it he's coming with? What's that little animal that he's got? It looks like a bat or something. Who, who is that? Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments. Help me. I don't know everything. Come on. Uh, cannonbolt. All right, there's one. No, that's Stakefly. Okay, Stakefly with what is that? Protoplasmic goo or something? I don't know. What is that? What is that? And, and speaking of what, what came with Cannonbolt? I don't see anything comes with Cannonbolt. Uh, Stakefly. Dr. Uh, Animo again, and Overflow. Ben with gray matter. So see, there's your accessories. Ben has gray matter. Doesn't look like he articulates much, just his shoulders. Don't see any knee action. We'll have to see, I don't know. Don't complain yet, it's still too early. <laughs> Hex, so he's got his staff. All right, there's one version of Wildvine, okay? Wildvine version one, we'll, we'll just have to see. Four arms, and it looks like his accessory is the chains that he can break, or they're already broken, I guess. And he can beat, he can beat you with them. Oh, Vilgax, and he's got a sword. That's cool. You're not going to see that till maybe Christmas time. 
Uh, he blasts, he's got these flames he's throwing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now see, there's Wadvine's second version. Now, is that actually from the show? Has anyone seen him do that in the show where he looks like he's turning his arm into ice or something? What is that? Is that so accurate? Let me know. And it looks like that's the second version of Diamond Head too, because uh, he's got a, a more purple outfit there. So before he had a black uh, vest or jacket, and now he's got a purple jacket uh, and a, a helmet, which he didn't have before. So that's two, like that would be second wave of two characters. So I'm, I'm glad to see that. Um, And then looking at the, uh, the power-up figures, you've got your forearms uh, and your heat blast. Now, see, the one the toy you buy won't have a wire coming out like that. They do that in the toy fairs because they connect it to a, a speaker, so it's a little louder. You can hear the sounds because it's very loud. The, the rooms are very loud because there's a lot of people running around. That's why they do that, okay? All right, all right. And then there's uh, Diamond Head. Yeah, good. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to talk about play sets, including the massive Alien Planet play set and the Rust Bucket play set. We get to see better photos and videos of it. So hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.